and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the 2021 LG C1 in 65 inches. Released this year as part of the new OLED range LG announced in early 2021, the C1 is the most anticipated high-end TV to come to the market in a long time. As LG are the front runners in the organic OLED market, there's a certain quality guarantee with the name. Packed with every new technology that you could hope to find, this ultra-slim display won't disappoint. So taking it out of the box, it's quite easy to remove the outer packaging by yourself and all of the accessories just sit in the top opening. But with the sheer size of the 65 inch, you'll need assistance when lifting and attaching the stand. Alongside the TV, you'll find a handful of accessories, such as your standard instruction manuals and a magic remote. Peeling back the plastic, you get an instant glimpse of that famously thin display LG are known for. This TV is compatible with a Vesa wall mount, giving you the option to either hang it on the wall to save space or mount it on the stand provided. But if you want to go for that minimal look, then you can invest in the gallery stand to make the most of the art gallery theme that LG have gone for with this range. Once you've carefully placed your TV face down on a covered surface, the stand will need attaching on the back. It's rather a large and heavy stand coming in two parts, with one long section on the front and a thicker section for the back support and screws. All you need to do is slot the longer section into the back support, securing them together with the screws provided, before screwing the entire stand onto the back of the display. Now that that's in place, let's take a look at the overall design. Moving around the back is pretty clean with an array of ports on the right hand side and minimal vents. Though the screen is ridiculously thin, it does hold a sizeable box on the back for all of the ports and vents, making it not as streamlined as some of the thin models that you'll see on the market. The stand does achieve a good balance to keep it steady and because of the bottom weight displacement it does stop it from being knocked over, which is a plus. Now it's on the display stand, it looks clean and smart, which is much nicer than some of the black plastic stands that you get with other models. Now the power cord is unfortunately attached to the back of the TV, so there's no possibility of replacing it with a longer cable if you need it. Now it's good to see that LG have stepped up to the challenge when it comes to ports and connections, offering a good variety for when you want to connect multiple devices. On the back we have a 3.5mm headphone output, optical digital audio, LAN connection, aerial and satellite, one 2.1 HDMI and two USBs. While on the side, we have a common interface at the top, followed by three more 2.1 HDMIs and one additional USB. As you can see, LG wants to make it clear that you're getting the best, proudly displaying that 4K at 120Hz compatibility on all four HDMIs, which is plenty of room for connecting multiple consoles at once, ensuring that they all get brilliantly high quality, smooth picture that next-gen consoles are putting out. So with all of these wires coming out the back of the TV, you may be having visions of the mess that this will produce around your new minimalistic display. But no fear, LG have thought of that by integrating a cable tidy cavity into the back of the stand for neatly tucking all of your wires out of sight. So let's turn this TV on to see exactly what it can do. The initial setup process is usually very long-winded for locating television signals and logging into accounts. So if you're not interested in this just yet, you can skip it all and set this up later. Now, as soon as you turn on the TV, make sure that you check for updates, as these can dictate the function of certain features and it opens up complete use of everything that this TV has to offer. As I'm reviewing this TV, the first thing I want to do is disable eco mode. As much as I revere LG for their power saving features, I want to make sure that I'm getting a true bright picture during tests. And as OLED TVs are well known for struggling with brightness, it'll be hard to test what the picture quality looks like with adaptive settings active. Now what I like about this TV is that you have a near invisible bezel around the edge, really playing into that picture frame theme as you can see in the featured gallery mode here, offering that full picture without messy black borders obstructing your view. Now it may not be one of the key features that most people jump to, but one of the things I like about the 2021 range of LG TVs is the use of this magic remote. After never having access to something like this before, I've kind of become dependent on using it to navigate apps and menus or typing out logins just like a PC cursor. It's just so much quicker than repeatedly pressing buttons to get where I want to go. I wouldn't say I'd use the ThinQ voice commands as often, but I could see myself using it every now and then when jumping between apps. Though I don't necessarily need this too much as it does have buttons for pretty much all of the big name streaming apps on the remote already. 
So when you first turn the TV on, it takes you to the home dashboard where you can manage which devices you have connected using the simple tile system. The main menu is really easy to use and get around with only your main settings at the top, followed by a series of channels and streaming apps showcasing all of the recent shows. So our C1 is a 65 inch size, which is decent for pretty much everything you could use it for from movies to gaming. The C1 does come in a wide range of sizes from 48 inches to an impressive 83 inches, so you can find the perfect TV to match your space. LG is renowned for their picture quality, so using the 48 inch as a PC monitor is not unheard of and can easily match most PC monitors on the market right now in terms of quality and compatibility, but on a much larger scale. The C1 boasts a 4K OLED display with a 3840 by 2160 resolution, so if you're looking for that stunningly beautiful picture, then you've come to the right place. Now one of the main benefits of having an OLED is the self-lit pixels, giving out individual colour matching and perfect contrast points, all mixed in with adaptive smart technology for the superior picture. With perfect blacks and a wide colour range, alongside some really handy picture enhancements to reduce glare, maintain consistent picture and provide even lighting no matter the conditions, the C1 makes a name for itself as the ultimate all-rounder. Inside, you get the latest A9 Gen 4 AI processor with a quad-core CPU. Now this means your TV will analyze anything you watch, learn from it, and adjust the algorithm to ensure the picture can be as good or better than intended. The best thing is, is that it does all of this in the background, meaning you don't have to touch a thing to get the best out of this TV. Playing TV shows in an evenly lit, bright room, I felt it worked perfectly well. I thought the vibrant colours stood out even in a bright room, and I could see everything happening even in the slightly gloomier scenes of a show. Taking a look at the screen from a more dramatic angle, I could see the whole image with no distortion, and though I do get a little glare from the windows, it's good to see that wide viewing angle coming into play no matter where I sat. As mentioned earlier, the common issue with most OLED TVs is the brightness levels. Where it benefits from deep blacks and contrasts, it can struggle to put out a true bright picture compared to a backlit TV. There's a good range of picture modes available to help match the colour, contrast and brightness best to the content that you're watching. I kept eco mode off and set the brightness to 50 and utilising these modes I got a pretty decent picture with a variety of shows and movies. In a completely dark room I could see everything much clearer, most likely due to the absence of natural light casting onto the screen, but of course you've got to hand most of the picture management to the AI features, from upscaling regular TV to the picture pro features that even goes as far as separating faces from scenic shots to alter everything accordingly as it's happening on screen. On top of all of this, you'll be pleased to note that LG have included Dolby Vision IQ as the cherry on top, so if everything else fails, you still get a stunning picture. Of course, next to the picture, you'll always need a great sound system, so the AI features don't just apply to the display. The C1 also has AI Sound Pro to ensure it delivers that beautifully full cinematic sound every time. You even get Dolby Atmos to go with the accompanying vision, so you're absolutely spoiled for choice with all of this encompassing multi-dimensional entertainment system. I cranked up the volume and lowered it down to see how the speakers fared, and as you can hear next, it clearly speaks for itself. Across the street. feel the C1 has every base covered to truly help you personalise the display to whatever you watch most. I even found the neat sidebar that appears on the left hand side of the screen very handy when wanting to change settings quickly. Its convenient toggle switches make changing display and sound settings an easy process instead of trawling through menus to find what I'm looking for. With LG's new OLED creations, they've really thought about gamers when including a handful of brilliant features for enhancing gameplay. The C1 has some next level gaming features that rival top of the line monitors with their 4K 120Hz super fast refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time and full variable refresh rate and anti-aliasing support. When you opt in for the larger display sizes, picture issues such as ghosting and poor frame rates do show up much clearer and it makes it hard to play the latest titles. LG is combating these issues with the best available tech on the market, including both NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync to help eliminate lag, stutter and tearing for a much clearer picture. Though sometimes these features can be a little intimidating, not knowing if they're working or not, but all of this worry is taken away with the simple game optimizer feature. By simply pressing the settings button on the Magic Remote, it does all the hard work for you, working behind the scenes to maintain that smooth gameplay. 
Of course, you can't just take my word for it. Now as you can see here, I tested a few of these games on the Xbox Series X, and I can honestly say that I didn't notice any disruptions or faults in the fluidity of the gameplay. I know some of you are a little sceptical when you see TVs boasting such high standards for next-gen console gameplay, but with the new LG range, the brand has teamed up with Xbox to bring the best out of this console, using specialised tech to ensure all console demands are met and work just as intended. I played these games with the game optimizer settings both on and off, and though there were only small differences, I noticed it most when playing Forza travelling at high speeds. It really makes a difference when racing or fighting a particularly difficult opponent, because every second counts, and I'm glad I no longer have to risk the picture letting me down when stuttering at the wrong moment. So after trying out the C1 for a few hours, it's clear to see that this TV is a great contender. It may be a little high on the price range, but you clearly won't be disappointed giving you the latest OLED tech and so much more all in one package. The menus are easy to navigate and it didn't take long for me to personalise it to my favourite apps and devices. As an avid gamer, it's comforting to know that you can upgrade to the latest console and not compromise on display and performance quality as it tries to include as many high performance features as possible. So what do you think about the LG C1 from the 2021 OLED range? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of the latest tech reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.